For this one, we're going to take a look at how to 3D motion track in After Effects. Now, the first thing that we want to do is you want to go to your effects and presets and search for an effect called 3D camera tracker. You want to drag and drop this onto your video and this will start to analyze the video and the background, creating all of the tracking points. Once it's finished analyzing, you will have all of these tracking points right here and you'll also have this target mark right here. What we're going to do first of all is we're also going to increase the tracking points by moving the slider over to the right just to make them larger and once you can see the tracking points nice and clear you can select where you want the area to be targeted so let's say that we want it on this building right here we're going to specifically target the front face of this church right here so we're just going to left click and this will choose the nearest tracking points which are these three once you've got yourself the closest tracking points, you just want to right click and go to create text and camera. This will then create you some text and all you need to do now is simply click on the text tool. You can customize this text and type in anything you want. So let's say we're going to type in church. We can also press control or command and A to select it all and we can change the font size. We can also change the font as well. If you wanted a specific font in here, you can change it. And we can also do a lot more options such as move this text and change the angle and apply it onto the front of the building. In order to do this, all we need to do is go to the first tool. We want to then left click on here and drag this. We're also going to drag it down and we can also press off the rotation and this will open up the X, Y and Z. From here we can adjust the settings if you want to rotate this. We can change the Z axis as well. You can change the X for the rotation and if you want to you can even move it further away from the actual building so that it's in front of the building rather than on the building. And if we have a look at this you can see it's perfectly tracked onto this building right here. And then if you want to, you can also add yourself some motion blur onto your text, which makes it look even better by going down to the modes near the bottom. You want to toggle the switch. And then from here, you just want to click on this button right here. And if we have a look at this, the text is perfectly on the building and we also have some motion blur as well. And that's pretty much it. That is how you 3D motion track in After Effects.